Silk Performer is the most powerful and easiest to use load and stress testing tool. Simple test script generation features allow you to test multiple application environments with thousands of virtual users, enabling you to ensure your application's reliability, performance, and scalability before it's deployed. Silk Performer's workflow bar guides you sequentially through the steps involved in creating your test, running your test, and analyzing the results of your test. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll create a basic web transaction load test. You have a few options for creating your script. The easiest method is to let the Silk Performer recorder do the scripting work for you. Just define a URL for the browser to open, in this case, the Borland demonstration site. The Silk Performer recorder launches, prepared to record your interactions with the demonstration server. All actions you perform on the demo application are recorded and automatically converted into a test script. Feel free to enter sample data, make menu selections, and click links to simulate a typical user scenario. Moving from left to right along the workflow bar, the next step in creating your load test is testing out the script you recorded in a trial run, otherwise known as a tri-script run. At this point, Silk Performer starts the trial test with a single virtual user, and TrueLog Explorer launches, replaying for you the interactions you recorded. One of TrueLog Explorer's most powerful features is that it visually renders web content that is displayed during testing. TrueLog Explorer shows you what virtual users see when they interact with the application. This allows you to verify that the data that is supposed to be received from the server is in fact received. In addition to displaying rendered HTML, TrueLog Explorer offers a range of insights into the data that are captured during testing. By customizing user data, you can customize your test with predefined user data that's inserted into your test in place of the data you recorded. In this case, we'll parameterize the values that appear in the year field. We'll pull the values for the field from a predefined data file that we create. Let's add a few alternative years for this field. TrueLog Explorer also enables you to add content checks to your test scripts to verify whether or not the content that is supposed to be sent by servers is in fact received during testing. We know the value is going to vary from test run to test run, so we need to verify against the data file we created. Now let's run another TriScript test run to make sure we haven't inadvertently broken the test script. The script runs again and TrueLog Explorer shows us the pages as they're recorded during the test. And here we see that one of the custom values has been inserted. There are many other ways we can customize our test to better simulate real-world conditions. You can define a number of browser simulation customizations for your virtual users. You can also customize bandwidth simulation with various connection types. Now it's time to define a workload model for our test. Here you specify how the virtual user workload should be directed at the application under test. We'll go with the default, which gradually increases workload on the application over the course of the test. We'll accept the default increase, warm up, and measurement timings for this workload. Now we need to decide how we will assign the agents for our load test. Agents reside on remote computers. They run the test script and host the virtual users that interact with the application under test. You can manually configure project agents for your test from your intranet, or you can take advantage of MicroFocus Enterprise Cloud services. Silk Performer Cloud Agents are virtual machines that run on dedicated hardware. Cloud Agents eliminate the need for you to maintain agent computers yourself. They're inexpensive, and they offer you the chance to use agents deployed around the world. Agents are ready to use within minutes, and you only pay for the time they're running. The next step is to run the test itself. Because TrueLog recording can be CPU intensive, the more targeted TrueLog on air recording mode is usually your best bet when running a real test. Now we start the test. Performance Explorer, so Performer's server monitoring tool launches automatically, offering several server measurement charts. These charts are fully customizable and monitoring is available for a complete list of web servers, application servers, and database servers. Back in Silk Performer, while our test is still running, let's take a deep dive into the results generated by an individual virtual user. Right-click and select Show Output of Virtual User. Let's expand the output window, and here you see all of this virtual user's actions and related timings. Once your test is complete, there are a number of ways you can analyze the results. Holding your cursor over a test in the results tree offers a quick overview of the number of agents, virtual users, and errors that were generated by the test. Summary reports break out results by region. Project agents on your internet are tracked here. Summary reports offer an exhaustive list of all timings that were recorded during the test. 
and because we utilize cloud-based agents in our test, we have separate summary reports for each region. Here's the report for our cloud agents in the Asia-Pacific region. When you come across a failed test or error, click it to be directed to details of the error and a list of how many times the error occurred. Finally, click the time series data node to return to Performance Explorer. Overview reports detail all server timings, broken out by cloud region. You can even compare region reports side by side in region comparison reports to isolate network traffic related issues. That brings us to the end of our demonstration of Silk Performer. Thanks for watching.